Okay, so hi. Um, this is I'm Chin. This is my little um, active vote introductory tutorial. The first thing you need to do is insert your uh, active hub into one of your USB ports. And once you do that, it will um, show up on these devices. And the active hub itself should be kind of blinking green. Uh, then, then you open Active Inspire. Yay. There we go. And this should be the screen you see once you open Active Inspire. If this is your first time using your Active Vote, I would go here to configure and to register devices just to see that everything's in order, that um, your Active Hub has been recognized. And there are 32 devices um, on the list because that's how many there are in your um, Active Vote pack. <clears throat> if I've uh, played with your Active Vote at all, uh, you'll notice that they'll all be re renumbered A001 to A032. Just to make it easier, I think, um, A179 is not really uh, memorable, in my opinion. So now that we've done that, you can start creating your question or importing one from a, from a flip chart you found on Promethean Planet. To import, by the way, just go File and Import, or Open if you already have it saved. Um, next you want to do is right click to create a new question. Um, active vote system only works with kind of question or poll based activity. So that's really w what its use is for. So just uh, insert question or control Q after right clicking. We'll open up this little interface. Uh, many of you have a newer version of Active Inspire in which case the, the uh, question wizard will look different than mine. Uh, but the functions are the same. So here are your questions, the type of questions that you uh, can have, um, multiple choice, true or false. Uh, I'll just do a simple multiple choice A, B, C, D question. Here over here, you see that um, you can either insert a new question, insert the question to a new page, or add the question to one page you're already on. Um, so I will add it to the one already on and click next. Here's the templates that your question can take. You can uh, download more templates on Promethean Planet. You so choose. So here's where you write your question. What is the capital of Minnesota? Here are, the, here are your answers. St. Paul, Minneapolis. This, by the way, uh, this question is kind of my go-to question, so you'll see me be using this a lot um, in my demonstration in Plymouth or Fargo, which is, by the way, my favorite movie. Here is where you assign correct answers. St. Paul is the correct answer, so A. If, like I said, you have a newer interface, um, you can assign correct answers as you're typing out the answers. Uh, it won't show up on a separate screen like mine did, but, uh, you yeah, know, whatever. There we go. Finish. What is the capital of Minnesota? I've got a question mark. Oh. Let's just go back. Fix that. Why well, skip them? So there we go. Um, all right, and then once there is a question, once the flip, part, the flip chart page has a question on it, uh, this little play icon will pop up, uh, and it will light up green and start stop flip chart vote. And here are all your students, and here is uh, how you stop the vote. Uh, you can either stop it manually by clicking this button, or you can assign a time limit like 60 seconds, after which, after the time has lapsed, the uh, it will automatically stop the voting. In this case, we'll just manually stop it, which will then prompt uh, this question. Will, do you want to allow them a retry? No. I want to answer no. So here is uh, all the ways you can see the data. There is no data, so there is nothing here. Um, so we'll click out. To add your uh, uh, students, to your active vote, you need, what you need to do is open this, what is called the page browser over here. Um, to do that, you either go to file right here, or to over here, this little icon here, which is not just on the way to file, to view, and to just to click uh, check the browsers. You can also customize it so that um, the voting browser shows up right on your toolbar right here by adding, by hiding the voting and then adding. And so you can, it just popped up over here. And I, uh, I don't want that, so I'm just going to remove it. And we go. Done. 
Um, so this is the last option on the page browser is the voting browser. This icon will bring up that registration again. And uh, make sure, uh, this is important, make sure that um, that you have the active vote picked, not active expression. A lot of the, a lot of the active inspires I've noticed default on active expression. So if you click on it, you won't see in devices. So you, that may kind of, you know, mess you up. But so just make sure it's on active vote because we don't have active expression. Um, this last one will assign students to devices. This is what you want to go. Here are your students. Um, to edit the database, you can click here. Um, so you see that there are three classes. You can remove a class here, add a class, a completely new class here, and by highlighting the certain cla uh, the a class, you can see the students in them, and you can add or remove students with these arrows. Over here is your uh, total roster. So this, in this case, it's all the students, uh, all the fifth graders at Benjamin Franklin Extension, and you can uh, uh, add a student or remove a student right here. New database will just completely wipe out your data and it will add a new, uh, you will create uh, just completely new information. Importing is what a lot of you will be doing. There we go. Uh, because I'll, um, uh, I'll be the one to kind of create the, your um, class roster database and they come in like this, they come like this, an EDB file. Uh, so, you know, click that, uh, wherever you save it and just click open. In this case we won't Export will allow you to save the database that you have in case you need to, you know, in case you need to work on it later, or um, you need to like transfer it to another computer or another teacher. Uh, you can do that. So, click OK, and to um, assign the active vote to your students, you can either assign them by PIN, which I don't recommend because it makes them have to um, enter in a corresponding PIN, which is, I think, uh, time consuming. So I just choose to automatically assign device option over here and just assign devices and will show up like this, uh, this obnoxious screen. And um, and because the students are in, in Africa, alphabetical order, uh, the they will be automatically corresponded to you know, the uh, device. So Corey Bell will have A1 and Taylor Woods will have A26. To click finish, your students are still there. Click play once more. And now the voting can begin. So here's Mr. Cordy Bell's answer. Cody's. Franklin's, Zeta's, Cole, Rollins, rather, sorry. And uh, Mr. Kevin's. All right, so click stop. Once you're ready, stop, and you know, it'll prompt you to know I don't want to, to be able to retry. And here's the data. And there's all sorts of different ways. Um, the most useful, I think, will probably be this who answered what list because it shows the name, the time it took them to choose their answer, and uh, as well as the answer. Um, you notice that those who chose the correct answer have their names highlighted in green. And uh, uh, Miss Cage's is invalid because she chose um, F, which is not uh, option choice. So just uh, a notice of that. All right, and you can copy it, and you can also paste it right here. N notice, I'm not sure what this is. Huh. Well, notice that if you um, paste it, paste the results, they come, they paste as an image, not as a text file, so you can't, you know, copy this information and then put it on Word. You can, however, copy this entire image and put it on Word or Microsoft Paint, you know, whatever, uh, whatever you choose. So yeah, I think that is it. Um, yeah, that's it. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching.